From football to baseball, they're talking about it. Fox Sports 1670's Bill Shanks and 41 NBC's Samantha Smith battle it out in the sports arena. All that and more in this week's Rant and Rave. Rant and Rave, here we go. A little NFL to start us off. The Falcons are off this week. It's a good time to ask this question, Samantha. Do they look like a playoff team right now? I have to tell you, after they went over the Lions, I kind of think so. I think they're on a good roll here. They've won a couple of games in a row. Even though Julio Jones is out, the offense is starting to look a little bit better. They're running the football. The defense is okay. I think right now, even though they have to have some things fall their way, I think they do look like a playoff team. I agree. They've got back-to-back wins. I don't, I don't see why not. Absolutely. Maybe they'll get back on track when they play the Colts next week. And then, of course, it's the Saints in Atlanta, which will be a very big game. All right. Baseball. Tonight, it's Game 6 of the World Series back in St. Louis as long as Tony La Russa can figure out how to get there. As long as he doesn't depend on his bullpen, he should be able to do it. Will the Rangers be able to close it out tonight? I say no, mainly because, Samantha, I want Game 7 tomorrow night because it's always fun when we have a Game 7. This has been a great series so far. Mr. Telephone Man, there's something wrong with my line. I can't call the bullpen. Yeah, I don't think the Rangers are taking it just yet. I think maybe they can force a game seven, and then it's going to be Rangers' ball game. All right, let's move to the college football ranks now and talk about Georgia Tech and Clemson. A couple of weeks ago, this looked like it was going to be a very big ball game with two undefeated teams. Now, Tech has gone and wet the bed two weeks in a row. They're 6-2, and two, while Clemson still undefeated at 8-0. Can the Yellow Jackets slow down this Clemson Tiger train that is just running at all speeds right now? I say no. I think Clemson's going to keep, keep on winning. Tech is really struggling. They look awful right now, and I think Clemson will do the job on Saturday night in Atlanta. I agree. i got to go with the Tigers on this one. CPJ's offense has hit a major slump. Their special team, they don't look much better. Plus, Clemson scored more against UNC last Saturday than Georgia Tech has in their last three games. All right, final topic. And, Samantha, you've got to be very careful with this. I know you thought I was crazy the week of Georgia-Tennessee, but this is the important game because Florida's good, Tennessee's not. Georgia versus Florida. <laughs> what will happen in Jacksonville on Saturday? Well, I want to tell you, I'm from South Georgia, and we swampers down there. We can't stand the Gators, and we just hate them full passion. We want Georgia to win this game. Mark Richt hasn't proven he can, and that makes me skeptical of whether or not they can or not. Samantha, I don't know if we can win, but I just they got to beat the Gators, don't they? Bill, there's a reason they call it the world's largest cocktail party because you're going to need the world's largest cocktail to get through this game. Best thing about this snooze fest, I've got a remote, and I don't have to watch it. Oh, well, if that does happen on Saturday night, we might do a live shot so we can see me having a cocktail before. (laughs) That's it. We'll see you on Friday night for the End Zone on 41 NBC.